A warm welcome to this week's Vegetarian Elite. On today's show, we're happy to bring to you vegetarian youths who lead a very healthy, successful and earth-friendly lifestyle. The word is out. More kids are becoming vegetarian. The independent market research firm Harris Interactive conducted a poll in 2005 regarding the vegetarian population. The result shows that 3% of Americans age 8 to 18 are vegetarians, meaning they do not eat meat, poultry or fish. This figure is up 1% from a previous poll. There clearly is a growing popularity of vegetarianism among young people in the USA as well as other countries. An increasing number of schools, camps and colleges have included vegetarian or provided more vegetarian choices in their menus. Fast food chains and family restaurants have followed the same trend. Families with vegetarian children also noticed that it has become much less taxing to find kid-friendly vegetarian staples such as soya milk, meat-free broths, lard-free refried beans, and veggie burgers in mainstream grocery stores. The vegetarian diet is healthy. Many non-vegetarian parents worry whether their children are getting enough nutritious food when they avoid meat. Numerous studies show that the vegetarian diet is healthy. A 2003 American Dietetic Association review of scientific literature concluded that well-planned vegan and other types of vegetarian diets can be appropriate for all ages. Children raised on fruits Vegetables, whole grains and legumes grow up to be slimmer and healthier and even live longer than their meat-eating friends. This is because they avoid contamination from hormones, pesticides and other toxic organochlorines such as PCBs and dioxins that are present in meat. By choosing a healthy plant-based diet, vegetarian children also escape from the accumulation of these chemicals in fat tissue as a result of the consumption of meat. In regards to intelligence, actually, intelligent children are more likely to become vegetarian. This is because they are aware of what they eat. A British study has found that having a high IQ as a child is significantly linked to being a vegetarian as an adult. The study was led by Dr. Catherine Gale from the Medical Research Council Epidemiology Resource Centre at the University of Southampton in the United Kingdom and is published in the British Medical Journal. This result is consistent with an early study conducted in 1980 from Boston, Massachusetts in the United States. The Boston study showed that vegetarian children, most were from vegetarian families, were considerably above average on intelligence testing with a mean IQ of 116. Let's meet Gregory Robert Smith. Gregory has been reported as a child prodigy by CNN, USA Today and many other major news agencies. He is tested with the highest IQ on record. At two years old, Greg decided to become a vegetarian. When he was 14 months old, Greg was already solving math problems. When he reached two, he was reading and correcting adults' grammar. It only took him one year to advance from second to eighth grade, and by the time he's seven years old, Greg entered high school. Two years later, he graduated with honours from Orange Park High School in Florida, USA. At 13, he got his college degree in mathematics and at 16 received his master's degree from the University of Virginia. At such a young age, Greg has many accomplishments under his belt. He is the Youth Spokesperson for World Centers of Compassion for Children, the Youth Ambassador for the Christian Children's Fund, including founder of International Youth Advocates, an organization that promotes principles of peace and understanding among young people throughout the world. When not studying, Greg travels the globe as a peace and children's rights advocate. To this end, he has organized humanitarian aid projects for East Timor orphans and youth in Sao Paulo, Brazil, helped Rwanda build its first public library, launched a 350,000 US dollar campaign to build a peace school in Kenya for the children of three warring nomadic tribes. According to Greg, the first step to peace is education. For these and other humanitarian and advocacy efforts, 
Greg has been nominated four times for a Nobel Peace Prize and was awarded the 2002 Force for Good Lifetime Achievement Award. Over the years, Greg has met with former US President Bill Clinton, former Soviet Union President Mikhail Gorbachev, Nobel Peace Laureate Betty Williams, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, and Jos Ramos Horta to talk about his educational and peace plans and to learn from them about how they've dealt with difficult situations. When asked about his peace efforts, Greg said, I know I can only do so much, so I try to reach out to other people and encourage them to take part. One drop doesn't make an ocean, but with enough drops, you can begin to make a change. Young Sam Tucker is another voice of change. Sam is only 12 years old and he is New Zealand's youngest broadcaster. His half-hour radio show, Food for Thought, promotes vegetarianism and animal rights. Sam's radio show has one simple rule. He only plays music by bands with at least one vegetarian. When he was 11 years old, Sam read Robert Muchamore's Man vs. Beast and stopped eating meat. According to Sam, Eating meat just doesn't seem right, especially when you consider that most of the animals we eat are more intelligent than the companion animals we keep as pets. Pigs have been shown to be as smart as a three-year-old. There's no way I would eat a three-year-old, so why would I eat a pig? Sam Tucker joined the animal rights movement and the Vegetarian Society. He started out by distributing flies about animal rights, then decided to take it to the airwaves. Sam believes that providing the public with relevant information about animal rights is the most important thing. Way to go, Sam, and thank you for caring about the animals. Similar to Sam, Gillian Parry, Miss Teen USA 2000, cares about animals. She was the first title holder from the state of Pennsylvania to win the national competition. In high school, she was a future business leaders of America and a member of Phi Beta Lambda. Gillian holds a master's degree from the University of Mexico and is currently a PhD candidate at the Johns Hopkins School of Public Health in Maryland, USA. When her dog, Honor, got sick, Gillian had a long conversation with her vegan younger sister and realised the double standards human society maintains when it comes to animals. Gillian shared her moment of enlightenment. Society teaches us to love certain animals as part of our families, while others are tortured and murdered. I was heartbroken over my dog's fatal illness, and yet I was supporting mass animal death for human consumption. I decided that day to go vegan. Gillian firmly believes that we have so many other alternatives to healthy diets that human society should not continue to eat meat. As she aptly puts it, the time has come for our morals to catch up with our technologies. Let's meet another young vegan with a big heart for animals. At 13 years of age, Sammy S. Scott completed her first screenplay. And by the time she reached 16, she has become an accomplished screenwriter having completed high school in two years. When she was 15, she decided to go vegan because Once I was old enough to realise all meat came from a living, breathing creature, I believed that it was wrong. At age 15, I became a vegetarian after learning of the wretched cruelty involved in the meat industry. Three days later, after learning of the same cruelty in the dairy industries, I became a vegan. To Sammy, animals are the most beautiful creatures on the planet and need our help. She also takes the time to talk to her friends about how to be a more conscientious consumer. To live peacefully, begin with yourself. Stop eating animals. Stop wearing animals. Take a few more seconds buying shampoo to make sure it's animal friendly. If you know of an animal who's suffering, take action. Speak about it to anyone who's willing to hear you. And if they're not, tell them anyway. 
These creatures aren't able to fight back. They need a voice. They need yours. Other vegetarian youths include Ivana Lynch, a vegetarian from Ireland who played Luna Lovegood in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. She was chosen for the role of Luna Lovegood over 15,000 other girls. Then there is Hallie Kate Eisenberg, another vegetarian who was perhaps best remembered as the little girl in 1998's Pooley, 2000's Beautiful with Minnie Driver and the Pepsi commercials. Another young actor with a big heart for animals is Jonathan William Lipnicki, best known for his roles in the Hollywood films Jerry Maguire, Stuart Little and Like Mike. Jonathan is a vegan and his love for animals extends to his work as an animal rights activist. He participated in the groups such as The Pets and Their Stars and The Nuts for Mutts. Aside from his involvement with animal groups, Jonathan participates in many charity groups such as the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, Starlight Children's Foundation and NBA's Read to Achieve. He is also the international spokesperson for Pediatric Chiropractic and Kids Day American International. The Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation recognized him as one of the heroes of 2001 by for his involvement. Finally, meet Lisa Simpson, a vegetarian cartoon character in the popular TV cartoon series The Simpsons. She is depicted as a highly intelligent young lady who plays the saxophone. Her environmentalism has been well received. Several episodes featuring her have won the Geniuses and Environmental Media Awards, including a special Board of Directors Ongoing Commitment Award in 2001. Furthermore, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, Peter, included her on their list of the most animal-friendly TV characters of all time. Do you question whether a vegetarian diet is appropriate for your child? Wonder no more. Science has proven that it's a healthy dietary choice and these outstanding young vegetarians have also demonstrated that a plant-based diet enhances their lifestyles in many ways. In celebration of all life, consider being a vegetarian. Thank you loving viewers for your company on today's Vegetarian Elite. Please stay tuned for Between Master and Disciples coming up next on Supreme Master Television. May God grace your life with peace and happiness.